<laughs> All right, uh, I'm, out, I'm out here at the land clearing project at 53 acres we've been working on and well I'm gonna let Curtis introduce him but this is the property owner Doug. Yeah this is Doug Wright from Georgia he's one of our clients with Midwest Farm and Land we got this uh, 53 acre property listed here in Saline County and he's been gracious enough to hire me and Capper to uh, do quite a bit of land clearing and some land management on it and this is Doug Wright. Doug, how do you like the uh, work here so far? I, I've got to admit, when when we first came into the property, I was astounded at the amount of work you guys have done here. Uh, I wonder if you can pan around and see some of the areas that used. I mean, it, it was completely choked from corner to corner. This entire property was not able to. You weren't able to drive around anywhere, and with a four wheeler or anything. Yeah, we, I had back in October opened up just a few of the basic old farm roads just so you could get from one side to the other mm -hmm. but it was the property was practically useless other than this one little plot that we opened up with the skid steer but now we've got plots that are ready uh, to plant in the fall so we're we're very excited about the, uh, the upcoming deer season so we, um, we've got about what about six acres cleared yeah or anywhere between five and six somewhere acres in their vicinity we, uh, yeah going to be able to plant food yeah plants, and, so. and, and a lot of the areas you know will still need additional attention here and there but it's based on just the amount of material that uh capper and curtis here have had to take off of it and it's it's very impressive what their machinery has been able to do out here for us all right <clears throat> here's a quick before look of this uh, lane that's everything you're looking at straight ahead is going to be opened up Right now, it's just a little path. Good. I know some guys ask this question, and I have it myself. You're from Georgia, correct? Yes. So, why not just buy land in Georgia? Why buy land up here in Illinois? Well, I feel like land is a, a good investment anywhere. Uh, but as far as recreational value, you, in my opinion, get more recreational value for the money <clears throat> in these parts. Okay. Uh, you have a better management system for the wildlife. Uh, you have genetically, uh, if you're a deer hunter, you have a little bit larger on average deer, more plentiful uh, up here. You still have a good turkey. Uh, and, and, and good property uh, like this is actually still affordable uh, in, in these parts for most places. So an average guy, if he kind of puts his, uh, I guess, ducks in a row, can have a decent place to come hunt. Whereas in, in Georgia, yeah, we have good deer in certain areas, but it's really, really hard to come by, and it's not a far drive, so it kind of made sense. A good place to uh, make an investment. So yeah, that makes perfect sense. That's so what, what, so why I'm here too. Southern Illinois. I've had some really, really good, uh, good times here. I've, I've leased a few properties. I've hunted a lot of public ground. Um, been coming up here for uh, more than ten years, I guess, at this point, and. Um, I've taken a few good deer, but I've got a lot of good memories and this mm -hmm. a, lot, a lot of good experiences up here. So we just like this part of the country, and um, we'll, we'll be here for years to come. So this property, I know Curtis has it currently listed for us to sell, but I, I'll be honest, the more that I see how this thing's shaping up, I, I'm going to see if I can maybe set this one aside for myself. <laughs> the more you want to keep we're going to probably <laughs> let him continue the, the listing that we're currently under, but um, if, if this doesn't sell, it's, it's shaping up to be something that I don't want to turn loose of. So it's, it's not going to hurt your feelings either way. Well, well maybe it's starting to hurt my feelings. The more <laughs> the thoughts of that, this one actually selling. I see the potential of the trail camera pictures. Oh, huge potential uh, here. There, there are multiple. This farm has not been hunted other than what may have been somebody sneaking in here or whatever. This, this property has not been hunted in 8 to 10 years. There's a, a herd of deer that really don't get tampered with. And they reside here with all they, the. They big literally. We, this is the property where all the deer in the community actually live, and there's some resident bucks here that, uh, you know, they're they're really nice. They were mm -hmm. nice last year, and we didn't kill any bucks off of it last year. We barely hunted it, and uh, so the the future is very bright for this place. Not not to mention the large strip cut that uh, part of this property yeah and, has on it. And Capper and Curtis here have put in the the boat ramp. We drove up from Georgia this morning. I got the family with me. We brought the boat. So we very well may be the first people to ever put a boat in on this lake. And it's like a mile long. Yeah. Wow. So I'm, I'm excited about casting to fish that have 
probably never well, seen a I boat. I want to ask you one question. Yes, what, what time's the fish fry? Well, tomorrow, I guess, uh, whenever you guys bring the bus puppies. <laughs> I can do it, buddy. I'll, I'll have you a stringer of fish, even <laughs> if I have to go to Kroger. Hey, I got, so. Doug, I got people asking already. So will you give us some follow-up, maybe trail cam pics or anything of the new food plots and watering holes? Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, you got, don't have to show us your secret giant. We know that oh, stuff, no, but no. you can now, keep that this, close. That is one thing. We we were thinking, oh, man, we'll have a mega giant on here. We didn't have anything that I feel like was bigger than 150 on our current cameras, but there were multiple deer in that range that this year could be, well, you know, 160s. There, there could be a booner, and I think once you add the food to this mm -hmm. and you concentrate the, the does and... and and just start making the, tur the the circle tighter on this place. The it's just it's only uphill from here. But it's going to be the major things to to grow a mature buck. You got plenty of cover. Yep. You're going to have food now. Yep. You're going to have plenty of water and low hunting pressure. That that's exactly so, right. It's I'm, it's at the end of a dead end road. Mm -hmm. It's got a lake at the bottom, so there's there's very very limited pressure. It's very secluded. I mean this. Yep. Like I said, I, the more this this thing comes together, I'm and I'm, it's kind of hard to access. Except from the front yep. to potential trespassers. Correct. Sneaking in from the backside because Which is, you've got that mile long strip cut on your very south border. Yeah, there's there's a lot of hard hard uh, I guess boundaries yep. on this yep. that limits somebody's ability to uh, come in and you know trespass, slip in, you know, cause you some problems like on a lot of nice problems. Another good thing too is the, the farmer right to the west to plant soybeans this yes. year. Last year he didn't get a crop in because yep. of the wet spring. Mm -hmm. So there was a fallow field to the west of us here. This year, it, it appears they're, they're drilling beans, they got, so yeah, wow. I can't them. imagine the chaos of deer is gonna be in this place this year. And the good thing about your south border too, not only having the strip cut, but on the other side, it's about a 350 acre open ag field. Yes, so. it's, and, the, and this property actually goes just across the lake, so uh -huh. I think you could possibly even hunt a little bit of that strip that runs along that big ag field. That'd be a natural uh, funnel Major right funnel. there. Major funnel, funnel, yep. 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 So yeah, the, the future's bright. These guys have, again, I'm, I'm very, very pleased with uh, Capper and Curtis here, the job they've done as real estate agent, as a land manager. Um, can't, can't be more appreciative and more impressed with what they're doing here, so. All right, well, well we appreciate it. it. We'll keep it, we're gonna get back to work and finish her up. Thank you.